Soccer is growing in popularity, especially here in Austin. There are over 20 youth teams, but many still see soccer as risky for young kids. And much of that has to do with concussions. The U.S. Soccer Federation is hoping to change that. Now children under the age of 10 are banned from heading the soccer ball and ages 11 through 13 will only be allowed to perform the skill during practice. Austin soccer coaches say they understand and agree with the change of rules. Yeah, heading is part of the game, but we don't need to do it at a younger age. We're still developing. The amount of sports related head injuries have increased significantly in recent years. Studies show soccer comes in second behind football for the total number of recorded concussions. Pediatric nurses at SportSafe work with athletes suffering from concussions. They say these roles target younger players because their bodies are still developing and more at risk for injury. We see most concussions in soccer are not actually from heading the ball, but when they're going up to head, they hit heads with each other or um, hit, hit, jump up and hit somebody and fall and hit their head on the ground. Um, and the younger athletes don't have a very strong neck, so that's kind of where they get most of their concussions from. Not all athletes are on board, though. Lindsay Myers is a soccer player at the University of Texas. She depends on heading the ball to help her team win and thinks these roles will hurt players when they are trying to compete at a higher level because they won't know the proper technique. Every sport has dangerous things, so I think it's something that needs to be, it's part of the game, so you can't really take that away, especially at, when, as you get older. Whether coaches and players agree or not, all youth national teams and club teams regulated by the U.S. Soccer Federation must follow suit. Morgan Willette, Texas Newswatch.